It's not often Mid-State Congressman Scott Perry talks to Mid-State media, but today he did. Dennis Owens had quite a few questions for him after Perry's name appeared dozens of times in a scathing report about attempts to interfere with the election. This is an example of what can be done when we all work together. So Scott Perry back in his district touting a grant for an airport expansion less than a week after this scathing report from the Senate Judiciary Committee cited him dozens of times alleging he sowed misinformation and pushed a stolen election narrative. There's no new information here. Perry insists Democrats controlled and released this report to deflect attention away from their record. Whether it's the economy, whether it's the retreat from Afghanistan, or whether it's the, the, the abject failure at our southern border, um, this, is, this is Joe Biden and Democrats trying to distract from that. When you're in a position of leadership, you have a responsibility to to tell the truth. Khalifa Lee is the executive director of Common Cause PA, and he has called for Perry to resign for sowing seeds of mistrust in our democracy. But you just can't arbitrarily object and then call into question the integrity of a process that wasn't in question for previous elections in which uh, Republicans were successful. Former opponent, perhaps future opponent, Eugene De Pasquale sent a fundraising solicitation linking Perry to that report. Perry promises to link any what Democrat opponent to the president's they, they, record. They can be silent on those issues and be critical of me, and I get it. I'm in the, I'm in the, I'm in the hot seat. But if you want to step to the hot seat, we would need to know where you stand on these issues as well. Hi, Joseph Robinette Biden. Eleven months after he was sworn in, Perry now says this about Joe Biden. He's the president of the United States. We accept that.